Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! We have still not left the European Union. The question's one that seems to pervade, for better or worse, everything our politics is currently about. Some will see it as betrayal, some as respite. Rod Little, who voted for Brexit, says he predicted on the evening of the referendum result that we would not leave. He blames what he calls the establishment. Tom Baldwin is a leading figure on the People's Vote campaign, former advisor to Ed Miliband, and believes we'd be better off taking the mess we're in back to the people. Welcome both. I wonder about the timing of your book, Rod. You've called it The Great Betrayal. When we're about to leave. We're, yeah. we're three months away from leaving, probably with the hardest Brexit that anyone imagined. I know that that fear lurks in all Remainer hearts, but I don't think that that's what's going to happen. The book's called The Great Betrayal because we were meant to have left on March the 29th, and we didn't. Uh, three years, almost, for, for the government to try to do what the people had asked them politely in that referendum that they might do, and it hadn't worked. And the same, the same dynamic is there right now. Yeah, so when you uh, say it hadn't worked, uh, what is this great betrayal? We had a, a Prime Minister who, God knows, tried for three hours to deliver Brexit. We've got an incoming PM who's promised a fixed date, you know, and a hard yes, exit. Yes, but what's what? he said? But what's he said? It's the same narrative as before. So this idea of no deal, which was brought up by... Uh, which was brought up by Theresa May when she went to Brussels and when she went to negotiate with Tusk and, and, uh, and Europe, um, it was a paper tiger. And it was a paper tiger because all the time, back home, Philip Hammond would be saying there is no possibility of a no deal. There is no possibility. What do we have now? We have Boris Johnson so saying, was, solid date, October. Oh, it was Val Philip Purchase Hammond and not there. all the people in the REG, all the Brexiteers who didn't but, vote for it, but, who stopped Brexit happening. But possibly, Why don't you recognise possibly, that? Possibly I do. It's in the book. Uh, possibly. But just to go back to that other point about Boris, you know, Boris has said very firm, we leave, we have to. Uh, and has, has raised the prospect of no deal. And then, at other times, has said, there is a million to one chance that we will leave with no deal. In other words, it's a paper tiger again. Well, look, I mean, I think a lot of people do feel betrayed by the last three years on Brexit. I think Remainers and Leavers feel betrayed by what's happened on Brexit, because what's being offered now, whether it's a revival of Theresa May's deals, or lipstick yeah. on that pig, or an accidental slide into no deal, which I think is a real prospect, it's both for a million miles away from what was promised in 2016, the thing that you voted for. On that basis, you've got a kind of mis-selling scandal here. You've got something which is not being delivered, which was promised. You've got Parliament divided. They can't decide on what form of Brexit to go ahead with. You've got the country divided. And the solution is to actually, in this democratic crisis, it's more democracy, not less. <laughs> Put it back to the people oh, no. and let the people decide. <laughs> well, of course, the latest opinion poll from YouGov suggested that 57% of the population want to leave in some form or another. No, I mean, which is, a, which, is a, no, which is a, which is an important. It's, it's interesting. This, yeah, you, you can you can you can slice and dice and slice and dice this in different ways. But that's so that there, is there, what there, the poll yeah, yeah, you, you, I mean, you quote polls in your book as well, showing that there's now a, 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 a remain majority. Now, I mean, if you're so confident about this. Let's put it back no, to the people. No, because it's morally because, yeah, the wrong yeah, thing to well, do. The people voted. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I don't think this is about... Uh, what, what do you call it? What's, what's, the, what's the phrase you give to the people's vote these days? Of course, it's a people's vote because the I people, people voted vote. I first people vote. time. Well, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's a people's it, vote last time as well, but the people have been let down. Yeah, you call it a great well, betrayal. Let down. The people have been betrayed they, here by the politicians. Let the people decide this and sort this mess out. But because Brexit, quite clearly the politicians Brexit hasn't been the problem. Brexit hasn't been the problem. What the sort of Brexit do you want? Brexit, what sort of Brexit do you Brexit want? Brexit hasn't been the problem. The ineptitude of the politicians and also the deliberate betrayal by some of those politicians, including quite a lot on the Remainer side, that has been the problem. There's been no inherent problem with Brexit. Now, I would leave with no deal. I would prefer to leave with no deal uh, than to leave with the deal which the ERG has uh, voted but, for. But, 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 but actually, there is complete unity here because you're delighted that we haven't Brexited yet and you're delighted that you can get angry about it because that's your currency. You can get but, everyone but up in arms. But that's what he does. He's a columnist. He's a columnist. That's a bit fatuous, isn't it? That's what you do. I'm sitting... 
My point is that I'm angry because we haven't left. No, no, look, and look, I'm look. representing the, the people, trying to represent the people, and that's why I've written the book, look, Rod, who are angry that they haven't left. To say that I'm pleased you're because I'm a columnist... You're not just angry that we that haven't left. You about. say it that the Remainer argument was that all leavers were basically racist and xenophobes. You're Pardon, to... sorry, I said... <laughs> you pretty much say that the Remainer argument is that all leavers no, are basically say... racist and xenophobes. No, I say that that was one of the... That was one of the big tropes of the, ele of the referendum campaign. Uh, didn't work very well, obviously, telling, your, telling the people you want to vote for you that they're thick, racist, uneducated and even worse than any of those things, old, didn't play very well. But it has helped some of the MPs to assuage, to assuage their fears of going against the public vote. Oh, by on. saying, well, they, That's they, the language they were you use. Would you describe yourself as a racist? Because many see <laughs> you that way. Well, no, obviously not. But I, I am used to going on BBC programmes and being accused of such things. Yeah. When, <laughs> when there is no evidence. <laughs> when all you do is write about, about suicide bombers I mean, blowing themselves up in Tower so Hamlets what has that or got to do with a this? black Labour and PK Osmore saying she only do got you, the job to her skin colour. Do you have to at every possible juncture? Show the BBC's grotesque bias. These, but these Do are you your have words, to? These, these are, are your words. You wrote them. And you wrote, I, sorry, have you worked this out between no, you? No, it's just what a lot of people think about it. It's just what a lot of people think about it. You're writing about just what this great betrayal it is that all Brexiteers are portrayed as racist, and then well, you come up with things racist. saying postal voters in Peterborough thought they were ticking a box to choose a Tarkadal or a Brinjal Bargy. I suppose this last comment will be considered a racist. It is consistent, casual racism. That's not casual. Racism week at all. after week from it's you. Not That's what you trade in. What is it's it about. then? It's nothing to do with racism. Why do you it's say I suppose this last comment? It's about voter fraud in Peterborough, which happened particularly amongst the Pakistani community. And it was organised by a man called Tariq Mahmood, who was sent to prison for doing exactly that. So, so get a grip, Emily. Why is it? Go on, Tom. Well, why look, is it then? Well, look, uh, uh, Rod, Rod to, to sort of defend Rod for a sec, he's a paid polemicist, right? He's paid a lot of money by Rupert Murdoch and the Barclay brothers um, to be a sort of scourge of what he calls the establishment. The trouble is, you are. You are the establishment, okay. right? Look, when, the you, establishment. When, 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 when you wrote, as Emily points out, that you wanted an Islamic fundamentalist to blow himself up in Tower Hamlets because it would be... It would be a decent distance from the rest that where the rest of us live. Yes, who, who, was the, who, who was, who was the us? Entirely, who was the us? Was that the people? Was it, it white people? Was it, wasn't it rich an people? Entirely serious point, as you well know, as you would have so known if you'd actually read it. Why did you is write it? it? There's comedy sometimes. Yes. Do you do you, do you not know comedy? Do you not understand it? I just it? wonder when it's so consistent, when it's no. week after week, the bar that you spew up has to be what who bile? you are. This kind of it's stuff. Not bile. Well, why would you mention black MPs? Female Labour MPs one week and Tower Hamlets the next week and the people who are ticking a box See, to choose is, a target. This, this is a real problem. You cannot but help it. That there are 17.4 million people out there who are distressed. So this is about this. them. And they're not this is like about you, them. This is about them. Like you. That they're distressed. They're distressed at the betrayal. And one of the things they're most distressed about is the way the BBC has behaved in the last two and you a half years. You write this in your book. You say it that everyone has BBC. been portrayed it's... as xenophobic and racist. I'm simply using your and language. And you're doing it again. I know. Yes, you're doing it again. Do walk into yes. it, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't walk into anything. I speak what I think is the truth and what I think people like to hear. Tom, as well. your argument that we have to go back to the people's vote is exactly the noise that left us all in this ridiculous position. You don't accept democracy. and We've had democracy and we've had the vote. Look, when you're in a democratic crisis like this, when MPs can't decide what to do, when the country is divided... I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of referendums. I spent 2015 in the general election opposing David Cameron's reckless decision to have a referendum. I'm not jumping up and with joy at the idea of another one. But I do think this is the only way to solve this crisis. It's the only legitimate way to solve this crisis. But you always because I think thought anything that, didn't you? No, you actually, I didn't. I didn't. I, I started working for the People's Vote campaign last year. The only people who are in favour of the People's Vote campaign, I mean, come on, Tom, with a f very, very few exceptions, are people who voted to remain. Yeah, I mean, and, I, and, 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 and what I want to get is more and more people like you, Rod, who believe that there's been a great betrayal, and I want people to recognise now that you know, whether you voted leave or remain, the only way to sort out this gigantic mess is to put it back to the people, trust the people, 
be a Democrat rather than hide behind the establishment and the big proprietors of the newspapers that you work for. The, the democracy the democracy is spoken, but you won't listen to it, and you wouldn't listen to it a second time either. And if you wouldn't listen to it a third time. And, of course, the next vote, of course, wouldn't be quite as simple as that. It would be between May's deal, it would be Boris's deal, another deal, or leave, or stay. Uh, and you know that it wouldn't... Be, you know that it would be gerrymandered, so that the people who voted would lose I, their... I actually do trust our democratic systems. I don't think Peterborough was a system of voting fraud. I don't you think don't Peterborough... Think there was voting fraud I, 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 don't think it, I don't think it was people who didn't, who didn't speak English, as you put it, who thought their vote ticket box were Bombay Alu. But that's exactly what happened in other places around the country, in Birmingham. You thought they were ordinary curry? There was literally uh, no proof of that. No, there was not... That was a joke. You don't get jokes. OK. Uh, On that... Um, Final thought. <laughs> we will end it. Thank you both very much no, for coming no, we in. Won't.